Yung. Yung. I want to read a passage from one of his lectures, which I think is one of the greatest things he ever wrote, and which has been a very marvelous thing for me. People forget that even doctors have moral scruples, and that certain patients' confessions are hard even for a doctor to swallow. Yet the patient does not feel himself accepted, unless the very worst of him is accepted too. Unless the very worst of him is accepted too. by mere words. It comes only through reflection. And through the doctor's attitude towards himself and his own dark side. If the doctor wants to guide another or even accompany him a step of the way, he must feel with that person's psyche when he passes judgment. Unless the very worst Unless the very worst of him is accepted too. Yet the patient does not feel himself accepted. Unless the very worst of him is accepted too. Whether he puts his judgments into words or keeps them to himself makes not the slightest difference. To take the opposite position and to agree with the patient offhand is also of no use. Feeling comes only through unprejudiced objectivity. This sounds almost like a scientific precept, and it could be confused with a purely intellectual, abstract attitude of mind. But what I mean is something quite different. It is a human quality, a kind of deep respect for the facts, for the man who suffers from them, and for the riddle of such a man's life. The truly religious person has this attitude. He knows that God has brought all sorts of strange and inconceivable things to pass and seeks in the most curious ways to enter a man's heart. He therefore senses in everything the unseen presence of the divine will. Unless the very worst of him is accepted too. Unless the very worst of him is accepted too. Yet the patient does not feel himself accepted. Unless the very worst of him is accepted too. Unless the very worst of him is accepted too. Unless the very worst of him is accepted too. Yet the patient does not feel himself accepted. Unless the very worst of him is accepted too. himself be repelled by sickness and corruption. <laughs>